of Jesus Christ. That which Christ would reveal. That's right. When a door is closed, that's equal to you not having understanding. That's right. When a door come open, now your mind can comprehend because your understanding has been made open. That's right. Go well, back to the fourth chapter of Revelation back, quickly now. Back in Revelation chapter 4 and verse 1. Get me. After this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven. A door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard. The was, first voice. Which I heard. Which I've heard. Was, it was a, of a trumpet talking with me. It was like it was a trumpet. Talking with me. Who was that trumpet? Give me Thessalonians. Amen. I have to itemize everything here. That's right. That's right. Give, give me the book of Thessalonians. First Thessalonians chapter 4. It was as it was a trumpet. Talking it wasn't to Gabriel. No. You ever heard a musician play a horn so much? He'd say, man, he made that thing talk. The trumpet was a voice. That's right. And it was the voice of God. First Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 16. That's what? For the Lord himself. Who? The Lord himself. Jesus. That's right. Oh, thou Lord. And the Lord said, I am Jesus. I am Jesus. The Lord himself shall or Jesus himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. With what? With a shout. How are it going to be heard? With the voice of the archangel. And what else? And with the trump of God. Yeah, the trump of God and what? And, 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 the, dead in Christ. and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. Trump of God. Voice of God. That's right. Voice of God. Sound of God. That's right. So oh, when the trump of God is sound, the voice of God is spoken. That's right. Go back to Revelation. Back in Revelation chapter 4 and verse 1. I have to take your precept upon precept, line upon line, and give you a mm -hmm. little here and a little there. That's right. Come on, son. After this I looked, and behold, a door was open in heaven. Then what? And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking it with me. It sounded like a trumpet talking to me. Which said, come up hither. Had a great pitch to it. Mm. Huh? Go ahead, man. Or they got it oh, sounded yeah. like a trumpet, which means the very yeah. sound got my attention. That's right. And the sound that came from that voice said what? And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me. Doing what? Which said, come up hither. It told me to come up here. And I will show thee things I'm which must be show hereafter. show thee things which must be here after. after. I'm mm. showing you what's going to go on in the afterlife. That's right. That's right. After heaven. Mm. And earth pass. Hallelujah. I want to show you the events that are going to take place after heaven and earth is gone. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Because New Jerusalem is the eternal place. Amen. So that place is not here. No. You have old Jerusalem. That's why Jerusalem that comes down from heaven is called New Jerusalem. New Jerusalem. The city that's here is old Jerusalem. And he carried built, me away. Built by the hands of men. That's right. New Jerusalem. As prepared as a bride, a bride. adorned for her, husband. for her husband. That's why God designed it. That's right. To please him. That's right. The length, breadth, and the height thereof are equal. Are equal. One part of the city is life 144 cubits, and another part 12,000 furlongs. furlongs. 12 gates. That's right. Tell the name of the 12 apostles. Foundation is there. That's right. Said he had no need of the light of the sun or of the moon for the Lord did light up the city. That's right. Nothing that is mortal, nothing that is human, nothing that is natural, natural. will dwell in the city. Because the Bible said we shall That's right. be changed. Be changed. When this corruptible have put on incorruptible. In and this mortal have put on immortality. 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 Then shall the saying come to pass. That's right. That death yes. is swallowed up in victory. In victory. Oh, death. That's right. Go and take God. Where is thy where sting? Is thy sting? Oh, grave. Where, where is, is thy victory? Thine victory. Thy victory. He's going to change the church vow body. That's right. Or it take God, hallelujah, and fashion it like unto his glorious, glorious body. body. That's right. This stuff we got here now, temporary pain. 
Oh yeah. Temporary hurt. Temporary suffering. All of it is temporary. Temporary. You got cancer now? When God changed you, all sickness. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, if you can't see now, that's right. You won't be blind in eternity. No, no. Won't be crippled in eternity. That's right. Won't be on no medication. Glory to God. That's right. In eternity. And God shall wipe away all tears. What? God shall wipe away all Hallelujah. tears. Glory to God. From their eyes. What did the Holy Ghost say? Revelation chapter 21 and verse 4. God shall wipe away all tears. Shall wipe away. Amen. All, all tears. tears. From their eyes. Everything. Everything. Every kind of pain that mm. brings hurt. That's right. All tears. Won't, won't, God won't have no preacher there then. No. Because that's the day of the Lord. That's right. Won't be nobody preaching. No. Won't be nobody baptizing. Oh, no. Hmm? No. Oh, repeat. God, God shall God. wipe away all tears. You know, that, that, that's what we're striving for. That's right. That's the prize. That's the prize. Hallelujah. Amen. Revelation chapter 4 again says what immediately after, after, after this. After this I looked and behold a door was opened in heaven. Then what? And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking. Yes. Which said come up hither. Come on hither. And I will show thee things which must be here after. Real quick. And immediately I was in the spirit. That's what you got to be in in order for you to see the Lord. See the Lord. Huh? That's right. Can't see with the naked eye. No. John says, what? Immediately I was right in, away. I was in the spirit. He was taken in the spirit. And he was behold, put in the spirit. That's right. He couldn't see it with his natural kernel eye. No. God put him in the spirit so he can see the things of God. That's right. And behold. And behold, a throne was set in heaven. I saw a throne. Amen. How many did you see, John? And one. One. Sat on the throne. He didn't see two more with him either. No, one. One sat on the throne. One sat upon the throne. And he that sat. They that sat. And he that sat. Them that sat. And he that sat. Just one. Was to look upon like a jasper. He was to look upon as a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne. The rainbow that was around about the throne was not commemorating gay rights. <laughs> no. That's right. Not at all. Not at all. There was a rainbow round about the throne in sight like unto an emerald. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats. There was twenty-four seats. And upon the seats I saw four and twenty Look elders. At all sitting. of this that he's looking at. Amen. Amen. So you got to be in the spirit. In the spirit. So when the Bible said no man have seen God at any time, that's talking about just any old man. Any old man. God have appeared to men and women. That's right. Solomon saw. That's right. David saw. Yeah. Moses saw. Yeah. You better give me a few Gen scriptures real quick. Genesis Just chapter travel 32. real quick Just and then I go back to 1 Corinthians 9.24. Genesis chapter 32 at verse 30. And Jacob called the name of the place Pe Peniel. Yes. For I have seen God face to face. I've seen God how? Face to face. And what else? And my life and is preserved. My life is preserved. Exodus chapter 24 will start at verse uh, 8. Says what? And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people. Yes. And said, Behold the blood of the covenant which the Lord hath made with you concerning all these words. Uh -huh. Then went up Moses and Aaron. Nadab, Look here. Moses. And Aaron. Aaron. Nadab. Nadab. And Abihu. Abihu and 70 of the elders 70 of Israel. 70 of the elders of Israel. And they saw the God of Israel. Wait a minute. A lot of folks don't even notice it's in the Bible. That's right. What happened to them? Then went up Moses and Aaron, Nadab and Abihu. I just want to take you on a little journey. That's right. Amen. Take you on a guided tour. That's right. On just some of the people. Some of them. That the Lord appeared to. That's right. Mm -hmm. A lot of preachers don't even notice it's in the Bible. They just harp on the scripture. No man have seen God. That's right. That's right. Not just any man can see him. That's right. But God can put you in the spirit. In the spirit. And reveal himself to you. That's right. Yeah. Then went up Moses and Aaron, Nadab and Abihu, and 70 of the elders of Israel. Yes. And they saw the God they of Israel. They saw the God of Israel. And it was under his feet as it, it were a paved work of a sapphire Like stone. it were the paved work of a sapphire. And as it were the body of heaven in his clearance. Like it was the body of heaven in his clearance. And upon the nobles of the children of Israel. And even upon the nobles of the children of Israel. He laid not his hand. He didn't lay his hand. Also they saw God. They saw God and did eat and drink. 
Isn't that wonderful? That's wonderful. Let's keep traveling. Now in the book of Exodus chapter 19, we'll start at verse 21. What is it? And the Lord said unto Moses, go down and charge the people, lest they break through, the, lest they break through unto the Lord to gaze. Yes. And many of them perish. Yes. Down at verse 23. All right. And Moses said unto the Lord, the people cannot come up to Mount Sinai. The people can't come up to Mount Sinai. For thou chargest us, saying, set bounds about the mountain and sanctify it. Yes. And the Lord said unto him, away get thee down, and thou shalt come up. Uh -huh. Thou and Aaron with thee. Yes. But let not the priests and the people break through to come unto the Lord, uh -huh. lest he break forth upon them. Yes. Now in the book of 1 Kings chapter 22. And we'll start at verse 19. All right. And he said, hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. Now, this was during the time of King Ahab. That's right. He wanted a piece of land called Ramoth Gilead. That's right. But God dealt with the prophet. And uh, the prophet began to bring a message. That's right. To the king. That's right. The prophet's name was Micaiah. Micaiah. Listen. 1 Kings 22, then we'll start at verse 16. That's right. And the king said unto him, how many times shall I adjure thee? That thou tell me nothing but that which is true in the name of the Lord. What is it? And he said, I saw all Israel. I saw all of Israel. Scattered upon the hills as sheep that have not a shepherd. And what? And the Lord said, these have no master. Let them return every man to his house in peace. Yes. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, did I not tell thee that he would prophesy no good concerning me but evil? Uh -huh. And he said, hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. What happened? I saw I the saw, Lord. I saw who? I saw the Lord. Amen. How was he positioned? Sitting on his throne. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And what else? And all the hosts of heaven. Not only did I see the Lord, I saw, I saw the hosts of heaven. Where were they located? Standing by him on his right hand. I saw them on his right hand. And on his left. And I saw them on the left. And the Lord said. And the Lord said. Who shall persuade Ahab? You see, God wanted his word to be fulfilled. So the. Spirits that God created on his left hand and right hand. His right hand. Micaiah is witnessing a conversation. That's right. With God and right. the spirits or the angels that were surrounding the throne. That's right. Because it was God will that Ahab fall. That's right. For the prophecy to come to pass through the prophets. Through the prophets. So the Lord asked the spirits. And the Lord said, who shall persuade Ahab? Who shall persuade Ahab? That he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead. That he may go up and fall. At Ramoth Gilead. At Ramoth Gilead. And one said on this manner. One spirit said on that manner. And another said on that manner. Conversation. Conversation. But now volunteer going to come forth. And there came forth a spirit. Wait. <laughs> Amen. That's something. This is for you that say you can't see a spirit. That's right. I agree. On your own, you can't. On your own, you can't. But when God wants you to see something, he'll open your eyes. That's right. The Holy Ghost says yes. And there came forth a spirit. If the man didn't see it. How can he describe it? Right. Not only is he describing it, he's detailing what went on up there. That's right. There came forth a spirit. He and didn't say there came forth a human being. There came forth a spirit. Because heaven or eternity is not made for flesh and blood. That's right. That's why you, they, they got to be changed. Oh, yeah. This body got to be changed before it's entered into that. That's right. Uh -huh. And there came forth a spirit, a spirit and stood before the Lord. Stood before God. And said, I will persuade him. Oh, I go persuade Ahab, Lord. And the Lord said unto him, wherewith? I want, I want to break this mystery down. That's right. All right, spirit, you volunteer to persuade him. Mm -hmm. How are you going to do it? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit. He didn't say he is a liar. No. But I volunteer to be what I'm not. That's right. That's right. Because it ain't no lying spirit in heaven with God. No. No, no. But Lord, to get him to fall. Amen. I'm willing to be. I will go forth and I will be a lying I'll spirit. I'll be a lying spirit. In the mouth. How deep would I take it? In the mouth of all his prophets. In other words, I'm going to make all his prophets tell him a lie. That's right. That's right. That's fulfilled the scripture, how God gave them a strong delusion. Strong delusion. That they believe a lie. That's right. Rather than the truth, That's that right. they all might be damned. Amen. So God allowed a spirit who volunteered to be a lying spirit. That's right. Who come as what it's not to deceive Ahab. That's right. To destroy Ahab. Yeah. So Ahab can fall. That's right. Isn't that something? Oh, yeah. Bible says, who knows the mind of the Lord? Of the Lord. The Lord is just too deep for you to comprehend. That's right. When you understand a little bit, he's deeper than that. Oh, yeah. Go back to the book of Corinthians now. Back in that first, was just some 
of uh, the ones we want to share with you that saw the Lord. Oh, yes. All right, go back to Corinthians 9, 24. Follow me. Back in 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 24. All right. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all? Now, brothers and sisters, all of us is in this holy race. In the race. All of us. That's right. And he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. That's right. I'm not in this to start and stop. No. You don't want to be in this to start and stop. No. I'd rather get weak than stop. That's right. I'd rather get weak and fall, hallelujah, fall on my face and plead with God to forgive me for whatever. Rather than turn him loose That's and right. then backslide and be one with the devil again. Amen. Are you listening? No, you're not. No, you're not. That they which run in a race run all. So everybody, every religion, every religion, every belief under the sun is in this race. That's right. Think of it like a marathon. Yeah. Everything is running. Everybody's running. But the word of God says. But one receiveth the prize. Then what? So run. Now the Bible says so run. Many yeah. you have to run a particular way. That's right. That what? That ye may obtain. When so I used well. to run track, I used to run sprint. Yeah. There wasn't no need to put me no long distance running. No. I wasn't cut out for that long distance running. Give me sprint. I can <laughs> do right. a 50, I can do a 100. That's right. Full throttle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Full, Full throttle. Full Many times me and Williams would do the 100. Oh, yeah. Full throttle. That's right. Amen. And I would win. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I remember one night I came in from work. And he used that as an advantage to have the upper hand on me. I was coming around the corner and said, oh, all right, Nikki, come on. That's right. I'm like, come on what? Let, let's, let's have it out right now. That's we right. got a hundred yard stretch here. That's right. I said, you know that ain't fair. I'm just getting <laughs> off work. I said, but you know what? I'm going to beat you anyway. <laughs> and just getting off work. He said, what? <laughs> he said, you're going too far now. I said, that's all right. Amen. Amen. Rolled my sleeves up, rolled my pants leg up, That's right. took my shoes off. <laughs> you know, when you run barefoot, it make you lighter. Amen. You get blisters when it's over, though. <laughs> he all weird and bolted himself up. He said, look, you got to do all that. He said, I'm going to leave mine on. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna, I said, I'm going to prove to you. That I cannot be beat by you. <laughs> I'd right. had a long day's work, and I'm going to leave you in the dust. That's right. He said, just shut up, Nikki, <laughs> and let's get ready. The word was out, Nikki and Sue. That's what we called them, Sue. Amen. They about to have it again. Man, the whole block. They was right there lined up. That's right. <laughs> they said, are you march? Set? Huh? <laughs> William, when Williams would run, he always had his tongue hanging out. <laughs> and brother, that's right. We went to work and left him. Right. I won the prize. Yes, so run that I may obtain. Amen. And in fact, I think after that, he didn't race again. <laughs> he raced others, but oh. he, he would, we would just talk about racing. <laughs> Yeah, There's a lawful way to run, viewers. That's right. You that are here? Know ye not that they which run in a race run all. Run so all. everybody, literally, is in this race, in this journey towards eternity. That's right. Now, everyone is going into eternity. Oh, yes. But eternity consists of two places. Yeah. Heaven and hell. Heaven and hell. Everyone. Everyone. There's only two places. Oh, yeah. Heaven and hell. Heaven and hell. So every human under the sun is going to get into eternity. Nobody going to get around that. No. Atheists, unbelievers, I don't care. I don't care who you are. No. Nobody gets around eternity. Oh, no. No. But there are more lost than saved. saved. And even the Old Testament prophet tells us this. That's right. Notice, New Jerusalem never been renovated. 
but hell, the Bible says, has enlarged herself. Herself. We'll let you know hell got bigger. Oh, yeah. Because the Lord saw there would be more loss than those that are saved. In the book of 2nd Esther, chapter 8. I want to show you this plainly in the Bible that there will be more people lost. That's right. Than saved. That's right. And there are earthly examples that God allowed to take place to demonstrate this. Oh, yes. One, days of Noah. Yeah. Eight was saved by water. Saved by water. Everything else perished. That's right. Another place, Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot and his family came out. Everything else was consumed. That's right. But let us look at the broader picture. Yeah. Heaven and hell, lost and saved. Yeah. And let's find out why, why it is like this. That's right. Listen. Second Esther chapter 8, we'll start at verse 1. Chapter and verse again. Second Esther at the 8th chapter, and we'll start at the very first verse. All right. And he answered me, saying, The Most High hath made this world for many. The Most High have made this world for many. Or many. But the world to come. But the world to come. For few. For few. I will tell thee a similitude, Estrus. Yes. As when thou askest the earth, it shall say unto thee. What? That it giveth much mold whereof earthen vessels are made. Yes. But little dust that gold cometh of. Uh -huh. Even so is the course of this present world. Yes. There be many created. There are many that's created. But few shall be saved. That's something. That's plain. Amen. And it's frightening. It's frightening. There are many. Many created. Created. But few shall few be saved. Few. Shall be saved. Few shall be saved. So run that you may obtain. So run. So run that you may be saved. That's it. That's right. Out of all these millions. Celebrities. Millionaires. Prince, princesses, kings, that's right. dukes, presidents, mayors. That's right. Whose side are you on? Whose side? Are you on the Lord's side or are you on the side of Satan? That's right. Are you on the side of the God of heaven or are you on the side of the God of this world? Amen. Choose ye this day. This day. Who are you going to serve? Yeah. If God be God, serve him. serve him. If Satan be God, serve, serve him. him. You choose. That's right. One thing about the will of God, it's not forced upon no one. No. So Satan have introduced countless of religions. Oh, yeah. As a form of distraction. That's right. To distract men and women away from God's purpose, God's original agenda. Enter ye in at the straight gate. Listen. In St. Matthew chapter 7, we're at verse 13. Enter ye in. At the straight gate. Oh, God wears straight. Straight. No bends. No. No curves. That's right. No detours. Oh, no. He says, enter it at the straight gate. Straight gate. Why? For wide is the gate. Wide is the gate. And broad is the way. Broad is the way. That leadeth to destruction. That ascend you to hell. And many there be which go in thereat. This earth is made for many. That's right. That's right. But only a few. Only a few. Will be saved because only a few will accept God's real way of getting right. That's it. Just a few. Just a few. Just a few. The word of God says what there? Still in Matthew chapter 7 and verse 13. Yes. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For Every, everybody. Yeah, enter. yeah. Hear me good. That's it. Everybody got to come to straight path. Straight, straight gate. You don't want it. I know you don't want it. <laughs> no. Thank God, but the straight path will never bend to you. That's right. You got to make every change that the straight path demands. That's right. It ain't coming to you. Who are you? Amen. That God going to change for. Amen. Amen. I was looking uh, at the news and there was some excerpt played. Oprah mm. stood up and was telling the people, I'm a Christian woman. 
Oh. And she said, I'm not trying to compel you to be a Christian. She said, but if you want to be one, I can tell you how. I said, lie, no, you can't. <laughs> That's right. You haven't repented of your I sins? I haven't repented. Not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? That's right. Don't have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues? That's right. And as a wealthy fornicator? Mm. Amen. You got your statement? That's right. Living on your backyard? Yeah. At the ring of a bell, here he comes? That's, That's right. not a Christian. That's a sinner. That's a sinner. Yeah, hear the old troublemaker now. Enter ye in at the you see, straight God day. don't care nothing about your celebrity status. No. To God, you're nothing but dust. That's it. Now, that's the way you are to me. <laughs> that's when right. the world prays you, I don't care. Yeah, that's right. You're nothing but dust to me. <laughs> that's right. Born of a woman whom the Bible said in a few days is full of trouble. Full of trouble. Hear this now. Enter ye in at the straight gate. Come on at the straight gate. For wide is the gate. Why? Why? Is the gate. And broad is the way. Broad Amen. is the way. That leadeth to destruction. Lead to destruction. And many there How be. How much? Many there be. Many that be. Which go in their ass. That's why they don't want God. They That's want right. to profess God. Yeah. The Bible said they profess that they know God, but in works. They deny him. And many there be which go in their ass. What is it, William? Because straight is the gate. Because what? Straight is the gate. Wait a minute. It says... Amen. They, uh, go back and read that again. Enter and, the, and it gives the reason. Enter ye in at the straight gate. Yes. For wide is the gate. Wide is the gate. And broad is the way. Broad is the way. And leadeth to destruction. And what? And many there be which go in there at. So, because. It says, wait a minute. Amen. Many there be that go to destruction. That's right. And what is the reason that that happens? Because straight is the gate. And narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. That's holiness there. That's holiness. That's right. See, that's holiness. That's holiness. Only holiness make heavenly demands. That's right. Man religion, you ain't, ain't no demands. No. All you got to do is come and throw the dog a bone and this old man go rolling home. <laughs> that's right. That's it. That's it. You go to church on Saturday or Sunday or once in a while pop up in, in a, a Bible while. study or a celebrity ain't even got to go. Preacher ain't going to say nothing as long as you cut him a check for a few hundred thousand, a few million. He'll praise you. Yes, he will. That's right. That's right. I, I saw an excerpt where Oprah went to Joel Austin Large Mega Club. <laughs> that's, that's what it is, a club. And he got up and said, we have uh, Miss Oprah Wingfield here, always so delayed. She jumped up and waved at everybody. Oh! My Lord, my Lord. You in the house, so what? So what? That's the way I feel about it. You in the house, so what? So what? No love loss. <laughs> That's right. No compromise. That's right. No special treatment. No special treatment. If Oprah walking here today, repent! That's it. That's it. That's right. And be baptized! Be baptized. <laughs> Amen. We don't have no uh, message for rich that's opposite from poor. No. That's right. The one that's renowned among holy people is God. God. Listen at this closely. Enter you in at the straight gate. Hey, viewers. Amen. Religious leaders, religious followers, are you ready to enter into God's straight gate? Straight gate. In other words, there's only one kind of people coming up in the first resurrection. That's right. Them are holy people. Holy. Is that Bible? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Give me the book of Revelation, Revelation quickly. Revelation chapter 20 and at verse 6. What is it? Blessed. Blessed. And holy. And Baptist. Blessed and holy. Amen. No, blessed and non-denominational. Blessed and holy. Blessed and Scientologists. Blessed and holy. Blessed and Christian scientists. Blessed and holy. Blessed and Hebrew Israelites. Blessed and holy. Blessed and Mormons. Blessed and holy. Blessed and Muslims. Blessed and holy. Blessed and Pentecostals. Blessed and holy. Blessed and non-denominational. Blessed and holy. Amen. You see how we lay in the Bible for everything. That's right. You think you're the only one right. No. no. God way is the only thing right. That's right. Don't try to bring me in it. Amen. 
If I can choose another way and be saved, it won't be holy. No, no. No way. Hmm? Did you hear what I just said? That's right. I said if I can choose another way and be saved, and be saved. it won't be holy. No. And I would go for something that give me more leverage. That's right. That let freedom ring. Oh, yeah. Thank God this thing. Tie your hands down. That's right. Tie your eyes down. Yeah. Tie your ears down. Amen. They put orders in your steps. That's right. Can't go where you used to go. You used to go. Can't hang out with folk that you used to hang out with. No. It even attacks how you think. That's right. And tell you to get rid of your mortal mind. Mortal mind. And let this mind be in you that's also in Christ Jesus. That's right. And a religion under the sun that do all that to you. <laughs> no. These yeah. religions of men give you loopholes. That's right. Way out. Ways out. And then justify you when you're wrong. Oh, yeah. There's no sin in God at all. That's right. That's right. Listen. Blessed and holy. Blessed. Glory to God and holy. Is he that, is he part that have part in the first resurrection? On such. The second death hath no power. It have no power. Enter ye in at the straight gate. Give chapter and verse with that again. That was Revelation chapter 20 and verse 6. All right. Give me chapter and verse where you are. I'm now in Matthew chapter 7 and verse 13. That's what? Enter ye in at the straight gate. All right, viewer. Amen. Are you ready to come to the straight path? Straight. Or you want to be one of them dancing, smoking, drinking, gambling, two and three and four and five wives and homosexual creations. For there be many that perish in this life. Uh-oh. In the book of 2nd Esther, chapter 7 and verse 20. Look at all this Bible. For there be many, there be many that perish in this life. That will perish. Amen. In this life. Because they despise the law of God. That's the reason why you don't want the straight path. That's right. You don't want God's law that tell you to surrender. No. You don't want to repent of your sins. You want to say, I bow my head and <laughs> raise right. my hands and I already accept Christ. Amen. Touch your hands on some television and watch a liar. Oh, yeah. And you want to be saved that way. That way. And the word of God speaks plain here. For, for there be many that perish in Notice the life. many. Many. It never said it'd be a many saved. No. Never. 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 Always point to the many Loss. That's right. When they come to save, few. Few. Remnant. Amen. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Think of it. That's something. Days of, days of Noah, just his family. That's right. Days of Lot, just his family. Amen. Think of it, viewers. That's right. You that are here, think of it. Think of it. This way is straight. Oh, yes. Straight. Make man stop processing his hair. That's right. Amen. Amen. Make the man stop putting waves in his hair. If God didn't give him to you, don't you try to put him in there. That's right. That's Amen. right. Make the man stop wearing fake hair and dye in his hair. Amen. He won't put no dye in his mustache, beard, or eyebrows. No. He'll beat the way God made him. Amen. He'll make man, he'll bring man some scissors. <laughs> or clippers. God to come tell man in the eleventh chapter of 1 Corinthians is a shame, shame for a man to have long for hair. For a man to have long hair. It'll trouble that man when he wants to be straight. That's right. He may not cut it today, he may not cut it tomorrow, he may not cut it next month. But if there's any honesty in him, honesty. it's gonna trouble him. Yes, it will. It's gonna bother him. That's right. It'll come in his sleep. That's right. It's a shame for a man to have long, long hair. hair. That's He'll right. stop looking at the fact his wife or his girlfriend loved to play in his long naps. <laughs> yeah! That's right. Or he'll get offended by this straight preaching and go follow a local false prophet. That's right. But tell him God ain't looking, ain't at, looking you, at you, Howard. Yeah. He looking at your heart. We all one down inside. There's, there's, there's folk over the air now. They always say, every time I hear that man, he condemn, he condemn, he condemn. No, I don't condemn. The yeah. Bible condemns. The Bible. Bible. I don't condemn nothing the Bible does. That's right. I'm a man of like passion just like you. Amen. What would I care whether your hair is long, short, or tall? What would I care? What would you care? Amen. If I was if I found if God didn't get a hold of me, I'd be just like you. Yeah. When I was young in the 70s, I had an afro. Yes, you did. Yeah. That's right. Sure. I had a TWA. Amen. 
A TWA, yes, it was a teeny weeny <laughs> afro. Amen. That's right. And I was in the seventies. My brother got the hot comb. You know, in the seventies, you get the hot comb, you blow your hair out. Blow it out. I had a blowout. That's right. Sure I did. My brother gave me a blowout, man. You couldn't tell me nothing. <laughs> he gave me a blowout. Then my father came home. He said, "Where all that hair on your head, boy?" <laughs> I said, "Ricky gave me a blowout." He said, come in here. I said, uh huh. <laughs> I heard the clippers. <laughs> <laughs> My blowout went so far out, it went right on the floor. Right up. While he was cutting my hair, he said, What's wrong with you? Don't you know the Bible said the shame for a man to have long hair? Long hair. Do you see me with a blowout? That's right. He said, Now you get another one here. The next thing, this belt gonna blow you out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one thing about authority, when you respect it, you will change. Yes, you will. Amen. Ain't no maybe so about that, brother. You will change. That's right. Now, viewers, you may be walking around here now having a whole lot of fun. <laughs> Drinking, celebrating, getting ready to have your New Year's celebration, going to your fake church and get drunk. That's right. Dragging your old alcoholic husband to see old Reverend Roundtree. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Amen. And you're going to get happy on New Year's. You're get happy. You do it every year. Yeah. So-called Christians that come together with vodka and eggnog. Amen. Amen. Smoking and drinking and having parties. Parties. Nobody repent. Don't want to be baptized. No. Don't seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost. No change. No. God is not on the agenda. That's true. Some of you that's making plans now for the New Year's, God got something else in mind. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. What he got in mind is to take you out of this life. Right. Oh, you're so foolish and you're so ignorant and you're so arrogant. Yeah. You fail to realize you only have a little bit breath in your nostrils and our whole life is on borrowed time. That's right. I am sent to you from the Most High just as a reminder Preacher. that get your life Preacher. right with God. That's it. 